record. Okay, this is Laurel Archer with Laurel's Learning Lab, and I am doing a um, our weekly Zoom call here with an interesting topic. This couple changed themselves together to stay together. So we're gonna learn about what they're doing. But before we start that, hi Jazia, we are going to introduce ourselves. So Nelson, go, go ahead and introduce yourself first. Good morning, my name is Nelson Vasquez from Honduras, Central America. And I've been here for about uh, two months ago, receiving this class with Mitch Lauder. And everything has been excellent and I appreciate it so much. And besides, I um, teach Spanish class, um, uh, Living Peace Now organization. And if anyone is interested, it's welcome. Everybody is welcome. And what day is that, Nelson? On Saturday, uh, 11 uh, New York time. Okay, so if you guys want the information on that, we can give it to you. Yeah. I teach a class on Saturday as well um, for Living yeah. Peace Now. So um, we will give you the information on how to connect to them. They're a nonprofit organization. There are all the classes are free. Yeah. And you just go to livingpeacenow.org if you want to sign up as a free yeah. member. Yeah, yeah, everybody's welcome. How's the PGM? Okay. Um, who wants to introduce themselves next? Okay, Saddam, go ahead. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm uh, Saddam Engel from uh, Chind, Pakistan. Okay. And how? what is your level of English? Yeah, my English is so weak that uh, I'm learning from here. Uh, Okay, well, we're happy to have you here regardless. So, um, Mohammed, would you like to go next? Yeah, for sure. I will go. Uh, let me wait a minute. Oh, yeah. This is Mohammed Noman from Afghanistan. I'm a student of civil engineering student in India. Oh, I, I'm happy to join this session. Yeah, my English is weak. It is not that much better. I want to improve my English here. You're doing great. Yeah. yeah okay. All. all right. Um, Oarda, you want to go next? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, my name is Jezia. I'm from Algeria. I'm here with you, uh, with all of you, <laughs> to uh, improve my English, my speaking uh, English, and uh, all knowledge. And also with Nelson, <laughs> with Spanish. I'm sorry for last Saturday, I wasn't at home and I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay, I was waiting for you. <laughs> um, and I want to thank you, all of you, uh, Laurel and Nelson for uh, your effort and your uh, help. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, who's next? <laughs> Abu, why don't you introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, everyone, and good afternoon in here from Senegal. My name is Abu Jalo. I'm a student at Virtual University of Senegal, and I joined this class because I want to speak like Laurel and some other native speakers. reason why I am here with you, so thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I'm happy to have you here. Renato is here, cool. Okay, who's next? Okay, I'm gonna move you up. Uh, Talib, why don't you go next? Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Mohammed uh, Talib from Morocco. Um, I'm an airplane mechanic, and I wanna improve my English here with you. Uh, a friend who just uh, sent me the link, and uh, it's the first time for me here. I, who is your I friend? Hope... Mm, Abdul Hadi isn't here. Isn't he? Okay. All right. Well, yeah. we're glad you're here. Um, Thank you. Zora, Awarda, why don't you go next? If you can, if not, we can come back to you. 
Okay. Um, Renato or Gabriel, uh -huh. go ahead. Um, um, Warda, Warda, I cannot hear you. You can't. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, and I'm 26 years old. I I have uh, fulfilled my studies three years ago, and my subject in university was finance and international trade. And I really enjoy in English because it, it's my favorite language and I really want to improve it uh, in the next years and so on. Yes, okay, so Arabic, French, and English, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. great. All right, um, Gabriel, go ahead. Okay, and uh, hello everyone. This is Gabriel, I'm from Brazil, and an English teacher here for Brazilians. You got it. <laughs> All right, glad to have you here. He's been a longtime member like Nelson, almost three months now learning yeah. with me. And Renato, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, guys, from Brazil. I'm Renato and uh, work as a, a bilingual support technician. And also I give private classes in English for uh, basic to uh, intermediate and maybe advanced levels. But I'm here to improve my, my to master my language. And also I love uh, Laurel's class. She is very uh, funny and I love her. Thank you. <laughs> I, I like that. She's very funny and I love her. <laughs> so yes, um, I don't have a formal way of teaching. I like conversational teaching. And so that's why uh, a lot of people, um, I love this conversational style of, of talking because in that way we can all learn from each other and enjoy. Um, right. So in a, in a regular teaching class where um, I am like the teacher in front of the classroom or I have a course that I'm doing, I'm more serious. But um, in this kind of thing, I'm, you know, more casual. So just so you guys know, I am starting a, a class, a course online. And some of you know about it, some of you don't. Um, but it's going to be for pronunciation. So I'm going to start with long and short vowels and some other sounds. And then after that, we'll go into consonants. But the first class is not going to be eight weeks. So Nelson or Gabriel or Jazia or um, Renato, if you guys want to join or anybody that's here, um, we will talk about it. I can give you guys the link when, it, when it's up, but it's not ready yet. I'm making the videos for it. And what it's going to be is one um, Mondays and Wednesdays, I will give you a recording to listen to, just like we do in the WhatsApp group. And then you will give me feedback. I mean, you will give me your recording um, and I will give you feedback um, two days a week. And then on Fridays, we will talk about those sounds um, that we learned that week. So it's gonna go on for eight weeks. It's gonna be really good. So um, it is a paid class, but it's very, very inexpensive compared to, you know, what other else. <laughs> I usually charge a lot more than this for real life. So this is a really good opportunity for you guys. It's the first class. So um, I will not charge a lot. After that, the price will go up. But um, I will give you the good link and just um, email me or WhatsApp if you want to join and you want to tell me um, that you want to join. Okay, um, anyone else want to introduce themselves before we move on to the lesson? Okay, well, we will get started. So I'm gonna share my screen. Um, and you guys chose the couple change themselves together. So this is the crazy story we're gonna read this week about um, the couple that wants to stay together. So they are handcuffing themselves together. Um, so let's talk about this. Let's look at the vocabulary first. Um, Gabriel, do you wanna read the first word and the first sentences? Yes, I want to. Uh, constant, um, constantly, constant, const, const, constantly, constantly, mm -hmm. constantly at all times. 
My friend is constantly complaining about her boyfriend. If you're doing something constantly, that means you're doing it all the time on your phone, you're uh, constantly on your phone, you're constantly talking with your friends. Um, so it's just a continual thing that you're doing. Okay, um, Nelson, second word. Okay, break up. Break up to end a relationship. She recently broke up with her boyfriend. Okay, you'll notice that the present tense is break up and the past tense is broke up. So um, you can also say they had broken up using the, that past participle. Past part but break up and broke up are the usual ways to say this. Okay, and we've talked about this in past classes with love and things like that. So um, it's the way we say it in America. I'm not sure where other countries say, but that's what we say here. Okay, um, method, Jazia. Method, uh, technique or process for doing something. Teachers should always be open to trying new teaching methods. Yeah, like on Zoom, <laughs> which is not new anymore. It's very like normal now, but before I would never dream of doing it this way. And now this is a new method and yeah. I like it. So anytime you try a new process or new method, um, it could be anything from cooking to cleaning your house to um, walking your dog. It doesn't matter if it's a new method, then it's a new way of doing things. Okay, um, next one. Who else wants to try? Mohammed, do you want to yeah. try this? Yeah, I want. Should I read? Yes, please. Oh, my neighbor keep his dog chained up in the backyard. Okay, the word is chain, but the past tense is chained. Yeah. So my neighbor keeps his dog chained up in the backyard. Say it again. My neighbor keeps his dog chained up in the backyard. Good, good, good. So one thing I will teach you guys is how to say words correctly, but also how to connect them together. So chained up. It's like the D and the U are together, chained up. You did it well. Okay, so to chain something is to fasten something using a series of connected metal rings. So a chain, you know, just like a chain on a bracelet or a necklace. Um, you can also chain up a dog with um, some kind of uh, leash or chain. Um, and that's a good thing if the dog is mean, because <laughs> I don't like mean dogs unless they're chained up and then I don't have to be scared he's going to come at me, right? Okay, uh, next, next uh, word. Let me look at who raised their hands. Uh, Abu, go ahead. Sure. A job or task or task that uh, you do at home. My least favorite chore is folding clothes. Is that true? What's your least favorite chore? Cleaning, <laughs> cleaning, cleaning the, the toilet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. No, no. <laughs> What's your least favorite chore? My least favorite chore is to clean the house. Clean the house just in general. Yeah. Yes, in general, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, my husband didn't fold his clothes yesterday, so I helped him basically did it for him because he was he left the clothes there on the couch for three days and i said this is enough i will fold your clothes for you <laughs> and <laughs> you are too lazy <laughs> yet he will do something he wants to do and he'll be out there for hours like on his car so it all depends on what you like to do and what you don't like to do a chore is something you don't like to do so it's something that you find um unpleasant or you know you just don't like dishes you don't want to do the dishes or the laundry or whatever so that's a chore cleaning your room okay all right and the last one um who wants to do this one raise your hand uh 
Okay, uh, Renato, go ahead. Uh, zip. Zip is a device with two plastics or metal strips of teeth that can be peeled together or apart to open or close a bag, clothing item, etc. Okay, so metal. Say the word metal. Metal. Okay, good. And pulled. Pulled. Good. So metal strips of teeth that can be pulled together. Metal strip strips of teeth that can be pulled. Pulled. Together. Put. That can be pulled together. Good, 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 good. All right. So it's like the other one that we talked about at the beginning when we talked about um. I forget what the word was. Chained, maybe? Uh, chained up. So this one is the same. Pulled up. Pulled together. So All right. It's yes. pulled or pulled? Pulled. 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 Yes. Pulled. pulled. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. If you guys want to say it, um, I can always correct your pronunciation. Sometimes we do this. So pulled together. Pulled, pulled. together. Good. All right, um, Renato, go ahead and say the sentence. The zip on my back, oh, the zip on my backpack is broken. Oh man, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even more when you are on the street and that happens. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, right in the middle of walking, something you know breaks, and then you have to stop and fix it. I hate it when my jacket um, is is the zip is on not on the track because then you have to um take it off my boot too i have a zip in my boot and it's always hard to get my boots on because the zip is is difficult to work oh, all right laura can i yes. can i share an embarrassing moment sure i had Go ahead. uh my pants zip once was broken in the middle of the street as well and someone oh, no. <laughs> yes, and someone told me, oh, man, yeah, yeah. Zip is <laughs> yeah, down. Zip the is... zipper is down. <laughs> and then I tried to, to fix it, but I couldn't. I had to buy a new, a new pants on the street, you know? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is horrible. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> so <laughs> we can say zip or zipper. So a lot of times we'll say the zipper on your pants. So if you can't zip your pants up, that's bad. And you okay, do need to go get some more pants. Yeah, so, understand. Yes, unless here, you have a here. belt and a long shirt, it will, it will show. <laughs> here, here, here in Brazil, we, we call zipper. It's, it's, okay, it's common. so it's the yeah, same, yeah. zipper. I think zip is the verb, in my opinion. Um, I wouldn't say the zip of my backpack. I would say the zipper of my backpack. And then I would say, I'm trying to zip the zipper. So that's the way I would say it. All right. So, you know, in English, we have a lot of nouns and verbs that are the same or very similar. So that is one example. Okay. So here we go into the article. So if you want to read the article paragraph, um, I, will, I will look at the hands that are raised and I will pick the next person. Okay, so couple chain themselves together for three months. Okay, who is first? Jazia, go ahead. Yes, couple chain uh, themselves together for three months. Uh, tired of co co constantly fighting. Yes, yes, it's That's correct. right. Uh -huh. Yeah, constantly fighting and breaking up. A couple from Ukraine have decided to try and save their relationship using and the uh, unusual met methods chaining themselves right. together for three months <laughs> wow so unusual mm. method. unusual and unusual method methods. that's right method. so chaining themselves together for three months I don't no. know if I could do that. I don't think I could be chained for three days. My mm. husband and I are together I a lot. I want to get away sometimes and I would not be able to if I had my <laughs> my wrist uh, chained <laughs> to him. <laughs> so, 
but these guys want to, so here we go. Um, Abu, <laughs> do you want to try these difficult names? <laughs> what names? The Alexander. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, Alexander Goodley, 33, and Victoria Pustovitova, 28, tied their hands together on Valentine's Day and haven't spent a moment apart since. I wouldn't really say they tied their hands together. It looks like they had a, like a chain, like a handcuff. See this picture here? See that? It's a handcuff. Yes. It's not a tie. Yes. It's not like a rope or a string. It's actually a handcuff. So handcuff. hopefully uh, you're able Lauren. to- Yes. <laughs> I think I think I will divorce after uh, one week maximum. <laughs> oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's something to do with <laughs> too much togetherness. <laughs> okay, so who is next? Uh, without laughing, <laughs> Renato, you want to do paragraph three with every day? Yeah, sure. Um, with every day passing, we are getting used to it more and more. It gets easier, cuddly told Reuters. Reuters, I think they say. Reuters, it's a news agency that's all over the world. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I don't believe her. <laughs> <laughs> or him. <laughs> yes, I don't believe him. Me too. Um, you know, I think at the beginning they will say this, but afterwards, you know, like like Jazia said, it's going to be difficult to keep it up. All right. Very so <laughs> Jazzy is still laughing. <laughs> All right. I think it's I very think awkward. awkward. I would think so. It's very awkward. Yeah. I think that's uh, yeah. I think our couple survive because we are uh, we have time far from uh, <laughs> all the from each other. That's right, far yeah. from each other. So yeah, far, far, yes, far. you want to go with your friends and then come back home. Then I'll miss you a little bit, right? <laughs> yes, I agree. Okay, so Nelson um, Kudle said. Okay, Kudle said he came up with the idea after his girlfriend once again said she wanted to break up with him, to which he replied, then I will attach you to myself. <laughs> what do yeah. you think of this, Nelson? What, let me get a guy's opinion here. It's kind of pretty awkward. Um, not, not just the, the position, not just the the way they're thinking about it, it's very unusual and awkward, you know, <laughs> you know, it's kind of, right. <laughs> I don't know what yeah. to say. Yeah, I I mean, I seriously don't know how so they basically doing basically he was forcing her, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say of forcing her, he's proving his love to her. <laughs> but he was the one who came up with the idea. <laughs> because she kept saying, you're going to break up with me. You're going to break up with me. She was um, not confident. So yeah. to prove his love to her, he said, fine, I will show you that I will not break up with you. I will chain myself to you. So it was kind of in response to her request. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't accept. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, no, all right, fine. I believe you. <laughs> OK, this is what happened. So we're going to read about this. Um, Awarda, you're going to read this, okay? Do the one with Positovitu. Oh, gosh, what is her name? His name, her name. Positovitova. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Refused at first, but later changed her mind. I decided, well, uh, I decided it would be an interesting experience for me. She said, I love him, so I came to a decision to do it. Great. Yeah, All right. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the next paragraph, Gabriel, the couple. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, uh, me. me or another person? No, I'm talking to you. You can do it. Okay, great. And the couple has talked about their experience on train vision. They have photos of their new social media. They have all shared a video showing the special clothes they wear, which had on one side from top to bottom, so they can easily change with their hands to change. That was my question. How do they get dressed with their chains on? And now we see how they do it. They thought ahead. So they are planning for this. That's great. Okay, we got some new people on here. Saida. And yes. someone else. Would you like to read the last paragraph, Saida? Okay. Yes, yes. I would like to read. Let me try it. Uh, okay, I will read or someone else. Uh, I heard two voices. So the girl, go ahead and read <clears throat> for me. Okay. Uh, after months, the couple say they still uh, argue sometimes, but argue? now when argue, okay, <clears throat> sometimes, but now when they disagree, they just stop talking instead of walking away. Although they still have two months to go, they are confident that they will make it, uh, make it the end the to the end. Yeah. That's right. They will make it to the end. That's a long Good. way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way. Yes, I want to talk to them in one month or two months from now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they would be miserable. <laughs> other couples would be disappointed you know <laughs> all right so now we have <laughs> okay so when did the couple chain themselves together raise your hand <clears throat> all right jazia go ahead uh, i think uh, uh in ukraine at home no it says when. Ah, when? Ah. Uh, when they want to prove their loves to each other. I... But I'm talking about a time period. When yeah. do they come? Uh, <laughs> Valentine Day. Valentine's. Valentine Day. Uh, one month ago. Yes, yeah, so one month ago. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. It says... It doesn't they say can't... when. It doesn't really say a date or anything mm -hmm. like that. I think we just know from the time period that it was one month ago. So, but, but there it said it was Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine. Oh, there it does say it. Good job. Valentine's okay. Day. Tie their hands together on Valentine's Day and Valentine's haven't spent a moment yeah. apart since. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mohammed, you can ask, uh, give me the question, uh, answer for number two. How did Kule come up with the idea? They proved their love to each other, something? Yeah, it doesn't really say like how he came up with it, but it does say why he came up with it. So tell me why he came up with it. You can read it if you want to. To, to try and see if their relation. Yeah, to try and see if the relationship would. Yeah. So she wouldn't break up. So he wouldn't break up with her. So um, it says here, um, <laughs> Kudley says he came up with the idea after his girlfriend once again said she wanted to break up with him. Oh, she wanted to break up with him. Oh, wanted. I didn't even see that. Yeah. To which he replied, then I will attach you to myself. So I wonder why she That's wanted why to I said up. he kind of forced her. I guess so. I guess yeah. so. So he, um, the idea his girlfriend once again said she wanted to break up with him. So that's interesting. Sasha, if you're here, this is an interesting article about, um, and whoever else is here 
uh, about a girlfriend and a boyfriend who chained themselves up for three months. You can see the picture. So that's crazy. And they have um, clothes that they wear. So their zipper, you could take off the clothes and then put them back on again without unchaining yourself. All right, so next question. Raise your hand if you wanna answer this. Have the couple stopped fighting, or I would say has the couple stopped fighting since chaining themselves together? No. Sasha, do you want to uh, do you want to see where it says? Okay, can you read uh, it? Yeah, but I've just come. Like which part are to read? The last one. After a month. Yes. Okay, yeah, I can read it. Yeah. After a month, the couple say they still argue sometimes, but now when they disagree, they just stop talking instead of walking away. Although they still have two months to go, they are confident that they will make it to the end. <laughs> All right. So. Let's do a couple of um, questions of discussion here, especially since we have some new people. So number one, what are your thoughts on Kudli and Positovitova chaining themselves together? Raise your hand if you wanna answer. Okay, Gabriel, go ahead. Um, I've not read the yeah. Okay, go ahead, Gabriel. Uh, I just think crazy thing don't don't recommend anyone <laughs> to make it. to do this so, so crazy thing so you never love your girlfriend this much <laughs> no no, <laughs> <laughs> no <I don't. laughs> too much All love right. too much love i agree okay so um number two what do you imagine it would be like to be chained to another person for three months Who wants to answer this? Uh, Renato, go ahead. Um, well, what do you imagine it would be like to be changed to another person for three months? Uh, well, it depends on the person, of course. <laughs> I imagine it would be craziness to be uh, chained to a person uh, that I... Uh, dislike for example but for a oh, person for sure like, oh. imagine <laughs> like a torture <laughs> <you know? laughs> jazzy what do you think it will be difficult if you are chained to a person <laughs> uh, i i think that i don't like uh, to be chained <laughs> so yeah. what if you are chained to your baby uh, also, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be more difficult. Even. I think so, too, because the baby doesn't understand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's not a good idea. I think. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, number three. <laughs> Do you know any couples who often fight? Yeah, many. What? Many couples, right? No, for no, sure. No, I don't, I don't know them because they, they disguise very well. That's right. They just, they, they don't fight in public. They fight in private, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. But, but I think they have the key. You know, it's when it is toxic. When it is about toxic relation, the the best solution is to uh, break up and break stop. up. Break yeah. up. That's right. Break. When I was in high school, I saw couples because they were teenagers. So that's why they were fighting a lot. Right. Right. <laughs> when you when you are in a re relationship, you have to pick your fights. You have to just say, you know, do I care this much about this thing that I'm fighting about? If I don't, then, you know, don't fight about it. If it's important, 
then you fight, but you yeah. gotta pick your battles, is what we yeah, say. Yeah, to, prever- to preserve our energy. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So who no would you drama. say is the happiest couple you know? I guess personally, not somebody on TV, but somebody you know, do they get along? How do they get along? Do you see why they're together? Uh, Laurel. Yes. I would say you and your husband. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're not always happy together. Believe me, it's the Facebook fantasy that we're always together and we're always happy, but that is not true. It's gotten better over time. So people tell you that, you know, at the beginning, it's the honeymoon period where you get along so well. That's true. But then you get to the point where you're like, OK, now I know you really well and I don't like you all the time. Right. I don't like who you are and now I'm stuck with you. So you have to kind of work through this problem areas that you have and you have to say, I don't like it when you do this or I feel bad about this. And you don't tell them they're a bad person but you say what your feelings are. And you say, I don't like it when you do this because I care about you. Um, Then they say, okay, or not. And then you just have to work it out. So over time, it gets better and better. But I certainly don't think I would chain myself to him because we love each other that much. It's not possible. Not so, possible. I, um, there are some couples that are more um, touchy-feely than other couples. So okay. if you see us together, we are touching and holding hands or hugging or something more than other couples um, or sitting on the couch together and, you know, whatever. But it's not... It's not like that all the time, believe me. Okay, Um, last question. Who wants to answer this? In your opinion, what is the key to a happy relationship? What do you, why do you think so? And I just gave you my key. (laughs) So you go ahead and tell me what you guys think. Nelson, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Hey, mute yourself if you have a kid in the background. <laughs> Please turn off your microphone. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Nelson, I think you were speaking, or did somebody else want to answer this question? Uh, Saida, can I, I was yes. mute. I believe and that I, Nelson okay. is a good person to answer this because I'm I not was. Married. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because I was mute. Okay, go ahead. Well, what I can say in my opinion, this is like um, very difficult um, um, decision of this couple. I don't know what they had in their, in their mind. You know, I think in no other couple will, will do this kind of uh, this kind of thing, this kind of decision. You know, a very awkward decision, a very, a very awkward posture. You know, to be shamed for three months. It's kind of, and I not even have in mind, you know, these kind of things, you know. Because so what is the key to a happy relationship? I think uh, one of the keys to be happy, to have a happy relationship is, you know, first of all, you, if you feel love for, some, for the couple, you know, you have to show that the love, the relationship, the, the passion you feel for this other person, you know, the couple, the wife or the husband, you know, in making feel, make, make, making her, making him, the, the other person to feel, uh, to feel comfortable, you know, to feel confident, you know, all the two people, you know, the other couple, you know, have to feel some confidence for each other and respect for each other. To show okay. the, the love for the for each other you know and yep. not, not just once in a while it should be in every day you know right and even though everyone has to be their time the proper time you know but they have to show the respect the love it, it is not necessary to be shamed for three months or not even one week you know <laughs> it, it is not necessary you know but All I right. think it's, you know Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. Um, Saida, go ahead and tell me what you think the key is to a happy mm-hmm. relationship. I think uh, the, uh, for me to have a 
happy or good relationship is um, uh, to make the right uh, choice, to choose the right person. Um, we, 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 which have the, which has the, the same value, the, he is compatible. How to say compatible? Yeah, that's right, compatible. Compatible, right. yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, to same make sure idea. that uh, the, the two person are, have the, the same uh, activity, not the same activities, but they have uh, many things, uh, common things. Yes. And uh, the, the, the second thing, I think the respect. I think yes. the respect is more impor important than love because uh, I think uh, they have uh, respect each other, uh, respect uh, the interest of others, uh, the opinion of others. Mm, and uh, we, for example, if there is an issue, maybe um, uh, the person can give uh, her uh, his or her op opinion, but not obliged the, the second person to have the same opinion uh, uh, right. like him or like her. Yes. Uh, and uh, also, um, I have to say, uh, maybe uh, also have to, um, a certain tolerance, be tolerate. Uh, yes, I think tolerance. tolerance. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And yes, and after that, uh, I think uh, love. love. Yeah, yeah, love is good. <laughs> and love is not passion necessarily. Love is being patient and being kind and being uh, more concerned about the other person's um, comfort maybe than yours sometimes. You know, I mean, you, you can't always be about yourself. It has to be, what does this other person want? Obviously, if I you're think, chained together, you have to do the same things. But if you're not chained together and you're just in a healthy, healthy relationship, then you say, you know, would you like to do this? Would you, you know, like to go by yourself to do this and then come back home and, you know, have reasonable expectations for that person? And uh, also knowing the person well, knowing the your partner well um, you you know her love language because there are many ways to express love right uh, for right. example uh, there is um, uh, someone who prefer uh, gifts someone prefer words uh, so right um, i think that uh, the partner should uh, uh, know the, the language love of uh, a love a other. love language yeah Yes, I agree. Love languages are important because I could say, oh, I cleaned your room for you. But if the person doesn't care, then it's not really speaking their language. If I um, say I love you, but I don't ever touch you and touching is your language, then you're not going to feel the love exactly, just by words. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yep, I agree. Okay, last um, opinion. Renato, go ahead. Oh, thank you, thank you, Laura. Uh, I wish to, I, I want to, uh, to say that, for example, in this, in relation to this last question, you know, in your opinion, what's the key to a happy relationship? Why do you think so? For, I'll, I'll give you, if you allow me to give um, your example, for example, you said that you and your ex-husband uh, and your actual husband current you husband can, uh, sorry my current husband <laughs> current, thank you your current husband you can you join themselves sometimes you you have a you can have a relationship a health relationship you know healthy right healthy yes and that's for me is the key to a successful relationship if you, we can uh, achieve that that a level of trust and I think this is the, the key. Yes, I agree. All right, guys, well, we're at one o'clock, so we need to end this, but uh, it's been a great discussion. I hope that you have enjoyed it and um, I will see you guys next week. So yeah, if you want to take off your mic and say goodbye, we can say goodbye. Have a nice, have a nice day. Bye. All right, Bye. guys. Bye. 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 Thank you for coming. See you guys See you next, next week. week. I will. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.